Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In this video, I will discuss an important fact regarding Dynamics 365. Are you confused about accounts and contacts? If Dynamics 365 is designed to store customer data, why there are two entities available to store data? Account and contact. Why not there is only one entity to store data? There is a purpose behind this. So we will clear all your confusions around this account and contact. Also, we will discuss in depth relationship between these two and we'll also see the demo part of this account and contact in Dynamics 365, right? So if my videos are helpful to you, please click on the subscribe button. And uh, if you like the video, press on the like button. And if you want to get immediate or instant notification of my videos whenever I upload, then you click on the bell icon and select the all option so that you will be notified every time as soon as possible, I, you know, as soon as I upload any videos. So you are able to see my screen, right? Here you can see there are two entities available in Dynamics 365. One is account and contact. Always remember, every company deals with two types of customer, either an individual or an organization. We keep in Dynamics 365, we store records of organizations in account, which we call as B2B business, business to business dealings. And if a company deals with a individual customer, he is not associated with an organization then we store that record in a contact entity right so these two entities are really necessary for customer data storage so the difference is we store organization details organization cost organi organizational customers in account entity and we store individual records in contact entity right you can see here let me uh miss this so if you see here uh, right here you can see the account uh, entity and here it is the contact entity right now when you right now the first you understand this account entity and contact entity are available for storing different type of data of customer in account it is organization in contact it is individual now what is the relation behind that Okay. The first relationship we want to discuss is within between account and account. Okay, a single account might have multiple child accounts, right? If you take an example, Tata Company, which is a account record for Contos Incorporation, then this Tata Company might have multiple child accounts like Tata Motors and DCS and other companies are there which are child of Tata Group of Company, right? So in Dynamics 365, we can create an account record with name Tata and we can also create some uh, account records with different names like Tata Motors and TCS. Then we can associate this Tata uh, account as a parent account of these two child accounts. So in Dynamics 365, we can store multiple accounts in a hierarchical manner, right? Now you understand. So how to store accounts and how account and account. So these are self-preferential, okay? One account is parent of another account, hierarchical, right? So now we will see the next relationship, the next relationship between accounts and contacts. Now, when we, we have discussed about parent and child accounts, then every account might have multiple employees, right? If Contos Corporation, Contos Incorporation created an account record of type TCS of account uh, for the organization TCS, then to deal with the account, the Contos Incorporation should store some contact details, right? Because you cannot directly call an organization the organization do not respond uh, you know directly to you because they, there should be some employees who are dealing with you uh, with respect to your with, with respect to that account which you have created in your organization right now if you have created an organization record called as dcs which parent account is um, tata here we have seen now to store the contact the employees who belongs to this account we store in the contact records, right? Now, con here in this relationship, contact records are nothing but employees of this account record. So there is a one is to end relationship between account and contact entity. One contact, one account might have multiple contacts so that for any service related queries or any you know product deliveries, whatever, the organization contest or incorporation can contact to one of these contacts which are associated with this account. When there is anything, any relation or any communication, you any communication the Contos Corporation wants to communicate with this account, then the Contos Incorporation will contact one of the contacts which are associated as a 
co related contacts of this account okay so there is a relationship between con account and contact h1 is to n right now the next thing is what is the relationship between account and contact right now there is also a relationship between account and contact n is to 1 previous step we have seen that account and contact has one is to n relationship because one company might have multiple employees that can be stored in our dynamics database now the next thing is there is another relationship between account and contact that is called as n is to one relationship okay now when we are saying n is to one relationship let's say the company's dcs and uh, the contus incorporation wants to deal with the contact for some reason for some case resolution or whatever right now when Contus Incorporation wants to talk with a person, then to whom, to which contact the Contus Incorporation will talk, talk with, right? Because if an account might have multiple contacts, then there should be one contact who will be the single point of, point of contact for that account, right? Now, for this reason, a contact will be identified as a primary contact for an account. Although there might be multiple contact association in this relationship within account and contact, we, one contact, let's say Peter, will be chosen as a single point of contact called as primary contact for this account. So if we uh, if we discuss the whole uh, relationships between account and contact, we will find three relationships. The first one is one is to n relationship within account and account self referential because one a parent account might have multiple child accounts. Okay. The second relationship is account with account and contact, whereas we have one is to n relationship because one account might have multiple contacts or employees who are associated with that account and the third one is an account can be associated multiple account can associate with associated with a single contact so that the contact will be treated as a primary contact for that account right so these three relationships are existing uh, in the dynamics 365 so we will see uh, the demo right now so we will start with the first one so the first relationship is parent account and child account one account can be associated with another account so let's see how it works so i can insert this and let's go to dynamics now here i am on the account screen right on the account screen let me create a new account i will give the name as data so let me give account name as data right always remember account entity is created to store organization data and customer or contact data is created to store individual customer data right so do not confuse now here i will create an account give the name data and i will just save it once i have saved it i can also create another account so that i will treat this data account as a primary contact so i will create a new contact new uh, account i will give here tcs and if you go down you will find there is a option called as parent account so this parent account lookup will be used to select the parent account for which it is a child so i have selected data i can save it now i have created a relationship right between this account and this data account with data tcs and i will add another account also let's say create a new and i'll give here this time as data motors data then motors now here i will choose the parent account data right i could have chosen tcs as parent account but that is not the true fact because uh, tata motor is the parent tata is the parent of tata motor so i will select tata is uh, the parent account of this account called as sorry i will give tata motors here sorry and here i have chosen parent account as data so i will just save it now you, you saw how we created two types of uh, uh, accounts which are child one is data motor and one is another is tcs and i have associated this two child account with the parent account called as data right now we will see the next relationship how this can be performed as a demo in dynamics 365 i want to create an account or i have already created the, created this account called as tcs and I will create two employees or two contacts with name Peter and Matthew. Okay, so that there will be a relationship that will establish one is to n. So let us go and create contacts. Now click on this customer. I have just renamed this contact as customer, so it should be contact. 
you can see here contact is showing here now let me click new contact here i want to create an employee for uh, tcs i will give a name here peter albert now if you click here you can see account name is existing now when you choose account name that means you want to associate the company name or the uh, the company name for which this account this contact is associated right now it is understood that this person peter is a employee of this account that means it is a contact of this account tcs right now i will create another contact and i'll give the same name here let's say matthew and here i will give guest and here also i will choose account name h tcs right because i want to create multiple contacts with the same account so i will save it now this is how we can create this relationship this uh, account to contact in dynamics 365 one is to one relationship when you see if you go to your uh, account let me click on this account and here you will find if you go down you will find all the contacts are displaying here in the right side right or you can click on this related and uh, click on contacts so that you can see all contacts which are associated with this company called as tcs right now i have associated this i have built this condition in dynamics now we will see the next condition right the next relationship is creating a primary contact from account right now when i have chosen this contact this account let me open this account first so the account is called a start you can see the hierarchy is built already when i have associated parent and child accounts uh, this Tata Motor and TCS are child to Tata. That's why you can see the hierarchy icon. I will show you right now. So first, let me open this TCS because I have created two contacts for this TCS uh, company. Now, as I want to show the demo of the third relationship, creating a primary contact for this account. So I can go here and at the right side, you can see there is a lookup called as primary contact. This is the relationship which establishes a N is to one relationship between account and contact. Right now, I can choose here. I want let's say Matthew Kist is my primary contact. Okay, I can save it. Now, I can also choose the account called as Tata, which is the parent account of TCS, and I can choose the primary contact, the same person as a primary contact for this Tata account also, which will again establish the N is to one relationship with contact and account. So this will establish right one contact might associated with multiple accounts as a primary contact right now this is associated here primary contact now if you click on the related you can see the contacts are there if i'll go here so so we saw that there are three types of relationship exist in dynamics uh, dynamics account and contact entities first is parent and child account which is hierarchical the second is company and employee relationship like one account might have multiple contacts who are employees you know for that account and there is another relationship called as primary contact association with an account which is n is to one relationship that is an individual that you are dealing with then we store data in contacts right so if you have still any confusion please let me know i will clarify your questions and uh, uh, we will discuss on uh, next topic uh, if you have any clarification any topic you want then you can put in the comment below and if we, i have already i have already published a video with uh, 200 interview questions for dynamics you can find here in this video and uh, also i request to please subscribe my subscribe my channel so that you will get more videos in a regular basis thank you